And Ngazi Fulani joins me live now for more on this. Ngazi, I understand you're joined by your friend Rose Lewis to provide some moral support. So, Rose, thank you for joining as well. Ngazi, can you just start uh, by explaining what happened that day that you had this conversation with Lady Susan Hussey? Okay, so um, we are in the middle of something called 16 Days of Activism, and that is about highlighting domestic and sexual abuse. And so um, because of the work that we do at Sister Space, um, we we talk about domestic abuse, but we also look at the um, racism or, or, you know, barriers for black women reporting domestic abuse. So because of that work, that's why we received the invitation in the first place. So, of course, we've gone to Buckingham Palace. We are meeting with up to 300 people who also are involved in the violence against women and girls sector. And we, you know, we're about promoting um, positive results. We're about um, raising awareness around um, abuse. And so I did not expect that five minutes after I got into the uh, palace, um, I was approached by a woman that I didn't know and I still don't know. Um, and the first thing she did, because I have locks and my locks were kind of hanging down at the front. So one of the first things she did was to take her hands and physically remove my locks so that she could see my name badge. Now, that's not culturally appropriate. It's just not appropriate. I wouldn't dream of going up to someone, especially if I didn't know them, I'm putting my hand in their head. That's a no-no. Um, but she's an elder, and I represent Sister Space. And so I was grateful. I just kind of tried to step back. And then she asked me where I'm from. Now, because of the event, it's a charity thing for domestic abuse. I assume she was talking about the, the charity I'm from. So I said, Sister Space. So she said, no, where are you from? So I said, we're based in Hackney. You know, we're an a charity that supports African and Caribbean heritage. So then she says, what part of Africa are you from? I said, I, I don't know, because I don't know, because they didn't leave records. I, I thought it would be okay with that. She says, but where are you from? So I said, I'm from here. She says, oh, I can see this is going to be a challenge. So now... At this point, I've got um, a black woman on either side of me, both of African heritage. And I can see by their reaction that this isn't me thinking this is going the wrong way. They're also feeling uncomfortable. And um, she continues to insist to know where I'm from. Now, I've said I'm from here. And then she says, no, but where are you really from? Where are your people from? And at that point, I said, lady, you know, I I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is it that she can't understand what I'm saying? If she can't hear me, I don't know what this is. But she continues. And she said something about France, uh, her, some association with France and being able to speak French. And, and then she says, um, I can see I'm going to have a challenge getting you to say where you're from. And then she said, where are your people from? Where are you? And it just kept going on. I've answered her several times. And then she said, where's your, what's your nationality? I said, I'm from here. My nationality is British, which it is, right? Um, and so she went on a bit and then she said, oh, I knew we'd get there in the end. Um, having ascertained that my parents came over in the 50s, She's now decided that I am this and not what I've said I am. Now, ironically, to get into Buckingham Palace, obviously you have to be searched. Everybody was searched. But you have to show your identity. I showed my British passport. Also bear in mind that in every document, in everything you do in the UK, I don't know about anywhere else, they ask you these questions. Where are you from? What's your nationality? Are you black British? Are you white British? Are you mixed? Are you this or you that? So it's so you fill out these forms. These forms don't come back seven times. So I answer the question once and it's okay. But with this particular person, until she because at the end she said I knew we'd get there in the end. So then we were clear. 
this is about her feeling comfortable that I can't claim my British citizenship. Gazi, let me ask you, because some people are coming to her defense saying maybe she meant no offense, maybe she was just curious about your heritage and wanted to talk to you about that. What's your response to that? Okay, so if you look at the context, it's not appropriate, yeah? Um, if you're going to ask me anything, first of all, ask me about domestic abuse, ask me about my charity, but you've asked a question and I've answered it about six or seven times. At what point, do, I mean, people don't want to know or don't want to admit when racism occurs. And if it, if it makes them feel bad, how much more us who have to endure it? Now, she asked the question, fair enough. I answered it seven times. At what point will people acknowledge that this is more than a curious person? And, and Ghazi, in an op-ed on The Guardian, um, your, your friend and fellow activist, Mandy Reid, who was there when this happened, she said that um, Lady Hussey, the, the, the palace quickly announced that she had resigned, but she said that you didn't want that. How did you want the palace to respond to this? Okay, so a lot of people have said a lot of things. The palace have not, I haven't spoken directly to the palace, neither have they to me. And when that happens, we will have that discussion. But I just want to make something clear. The, the palace um, appointed her or, or gave her that position. So it's for her and the palace to sort out. It's not for me. This that's landed on me shouldn't be for me to, to sort out. It's It's unfair. All right. I am. Um, I have due regard for everybody, and I particularly have due regard for people who are older than me. But how far can we take this thing? Where you think you have the right to, to, to move my hair, drill me because it wasn't a question, and that's the thing as well. We are clear. I know when someone's asking me a question because they're interested, and when someone's asking me a question because there's a, a motive at the end. I'm very clear. You know. So. Yeah. All right. And Ghazi Fulani, Rose, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.